calling. So, so we need to we need to address the big elephant in the room straight away. How about the young pope? Huh? Pretty crazy, right? There's a kangaroo in the Vatican. I can't think of anything more shocking to have happened in the last few months. But you know what? I guess there was that one thing. And so now the United States has a new president, the 45th president of the United States. There he is, Donald J. Trump. That's right. We now live under President Trump. Two words that will never sound normal together, no matter how many times you say them. Like panda mustard or mom's orgasm. Now, the last few weeks have been frantic. Trump's nominated a Supreme Court justice uh, and issued 24 executive orders and memoranda, one of which, the notorious travel ban, has been smacked down repeatedly in court, to which he tweeted nonsensically, see you in court. He also somehow failed to mention Jews in the Holocaust Remembrance Statement, used the National Prayer Breakfast to make fun of Arnold Schwarzenegger's ratings on The Celebrity Apprentice, and Twitter bullied the Mexican president into cancelling his visit to the US. And that is just the tip of the shitbird. It has been so busy, it's gotten to the point where the most terrifying sound is your phone buzzing with a news alert. I hate to say this, but I actually found myself at one point saying, Oh, thank God, it's just that Mary Tyler Moore's dead. Oh, that is a massive relief. We've been living in a world where if someone says good morning to you, the only acceptable response is no. No, it isn't. What is wrong with you? And even if you try to avoid the news, inevitably someone will come up to you and say, hey, did you hear the new Secretary of Labour is a giant jar of wasps? <laughs> now, I'm kidding about that. The actual nominee is Andrew Puster, who is opposed to raising the minimum wage and who currently heads Hardee's and Carl's Jr., the chain's famous for tasteful ads like this. <laughs> Introducing a classic patty with a spicy twist. <laughs> is truly the perfect ad to prepare you for the actual interior of a Carl's Jr. restaurant, which is undeniably so hot. <laughs> but before you can be horrified by pasta, you remember Trump's attorney general is Jeff Sessions, recently named Man of the Year by Wrong Side of History magazine. In fact, all Trump's nominees seem to have been chosen sarcastically. The Secretary of Education hates our public education system. The nominee to head the EPA hates the EPA. And the future Secretary of Energy is this guy. Cool. Greg Perry once proposed eliminating the department that he will soon head, although, to be fair, he later recanted, saying, after being briefed on so many of the vital functions of the Department of Energy, I regret recommending its elimination. <laughs> I can only imagine he thought it protected our reserves of monster energy drinks. Come on, y'all, you can't have monsters getting energy. Why are we even giving them drinks? This department needs to be shut down. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> With the pace of chaos raining down upon us, it is important to find something to center yourself. Now, personally, I've been using this framed photograph of Eddie, the dog from the TV show Frasier. I look at this whenever I want to feel better, and I'll tell you why, because Eddie is the perfect example of something that has absolutely no idea what's going on in the world right now. He's a dog, he's fictional, and he's almost certainly dead. And at various times these past few weeks, I have been genuinely jealous of all three of those things. This is going to be a long presidency, and perhaps nothing encapsulated the way many of us feel right now better than Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. On Friday, he met with our new president for what was a comically long and marathon-like handshake, but just watch his expression at the end. I feel you. I feel you. That is the Prime Minister of a country not...